High school graduation is a time of celebration and excitement. It marks a new beginning for so many people. But in Hot Springs, Arkansas, in 2022, it turned deadly. Around 9 p.m. on May 12, 2022, police in Hot Springs, Arkansas got called to the Hot Springs Convention Center where graduation was being held for a fight. So police are out there trying to break up this fight and a man walks within like five feet of police officers. He's wearing a light colored shirt. He raises a handgun and he starts firing shots. The man, who officers did not know, they didn't know his name, he started running back the direction that he came from, and he's still firing shots. Officers run after him, and of course, they fire shots at him. I cannot imagine the terror that was felt by this crowd. Not only one man firing shots into the crowd, but the officers obviously, you know, trying to do their jobs, trying to stop him, but they're firing shots at at the man. And the shooter heads to the rear parking lot of the convention center. In the end, four people were shot in this shooting. Candace Hughes, Monique West, Marquisian Green, and Michael Jordan. All four were transported to the hospital. Now, Monique, Candace, and Marquisian were all treated for their injuries. They had non-life-threatening injuries in their lower extremities. Unfortunately, Michael Jordan died from his injuries. He did not make it. According to witnesses, they were able to describe what the shooter was wearing in detail and were also able to describe the vehicle that the shooter got in to leave. He got in a white SUV and left the parking lot. And because he walked so close to the officers when he started shooting, he was actually seen on body cam footage wearing a light-colored long sleeve shirt and light-colored shorts, which might have stood out, you know, in Arkansas in May. After the shooting, a fifth gunshot victim actually arrived at the hospital. He was taken to the hospital by private vehicle, a private vehicle that turned out to be a white SUV, a 2011 Kia Sorento. And while the man, who was later identified as Charles Johnson, arrived at the hospital without a shirt, he was wearing light-colored shorts, the same as the shooter. This man, Charles Johnson Jr., actually matched the description of the suspect by people that were at the graduation. And he also had a light-colored long-sleeve shirt that could be seen inside of that Kia Sorento that had blood on it. Charles Johnson Jr. was arrested and charged with first-degree murder and four counts of first-degree battery. Charles Johnson Jr., who was already a felon out of Colorado, actually had a jury trial, and on December 15th, 2023, he was found guilty. Mr. Johnson was sentenced to 40 years in prison for the murder charge plus a five-year firearm enhancement. On count two, which was the first first degree battery charge, he was sentenced to 10 years in prison. On count three, which was the another first degree battery charge, he was sentenced to 20 years in prison because there was a child enhancement. On count four, which was the third first degree battery charge, he received 15 years in prison. And on count five, which was the last first degree battery charge, he received five years in prison. All of those sentences are to run consecutively to one another, which means that Charles Johnson Jr. will spend 105 years in the Arkansas Department of Corrections. Given that he doesn't win an appeal or any other relief from a court, he will spend the rest of his life in prison. Now, Charles Johnson Jr.'s defense attorney, who was a public defender, did not put on a defense at all. So that may be grounds for an appeal. We will see. I will update if that happens. But as of right now, it looks like he will not go up for parole until 2083. And he pulled his gun out and started just shooting while I was running. But I was definitely scared because he could have turned and shot me or also my mother, she cannot hear. And she was walking where he was shooting at. George Brewer says his fiance son was graduating from Hot Springs High School. He and his family ran back to his truck and witnessed one man get shot in the neck during the shooting. 
It was just chaos. Everybody was around, you know, crying, upset, because their kids, they're worried about their kids as well. My daughter being 16 witnessed that, her and her friend, she's pretty traumatized over this because like, it happened within probably five foot from her. And he held his neck and he fell on the ground.